everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tag video and this tag is about five forever handbags I have to come up with and also five handbags that I will sacrifice for greater cause. And this is gonna be all about like hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to something um anyways i'll talk more about that and this tag was created by the lovely amy from fashionably amy hi amy it took actually a lot longer than i thought it would because i had to really think through which ones that i want to keep and which ones i want to let go and also thanks to the ladies who tagged me mel from mel and melvin and melinda from lux purse love Yes, so let's start with the five handbags that I will keep forever and ever, whatever reason it is. This is the Lady Dior from Dior and the size mini. Um, it has a beautiful, beautiful, I forgot the name of this color, but it's got the beautiful iridescent sheen to it. I don't really use this bag that often, honestly. And this is my favorite bag to feature when I do try on haul video, like outfits, because this goes with everything. It makes everything look more pretty and ladylike so i do love it but the real reason behind why this i will have forever is i believe you guys know um if you've been following me for some time my husband yeah my dear husband surprised me with this um and that was just unbelievable for me i don't know how yours your husband is but Mine is really like zero, 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 zero interest at shopping or buying anything. He has no idea and also he just doesn't have interest like naturally. So yeah, I cannot ex like imagine him going into a Dior boutique and, you know, looking for the one that you know, I won and he chose this color and I wasn't really into Dior at the time, but after he got this, I just, yeah, I love it more because the craftsmanship that I can really, really see from having it and owning it. Anyways, I love it so much. It's got the best sentimental value. The second bag that I will have forever and ever is this beautiful Birkin size 30 and it's the Clemens leather and it is Rose Extreme. How gorgeous is this color? I love this beautiful pop of, I don't know how to say about the shade of pink. It's like a uh, like delicious candy <laughs> I could think of. It's just so gorgeous. I just thought that Rose Extreme looks more of reddish than pink. I don't know from the pictures that I've seen, but it is definitely more pinky than red and yeah, Rose Extreme. So it is extremely pretty rose color. This is just a color that I can see myself still wearing even when I become like grandma, like, you know, really like 60 or 70, I don't know. Still, I would love pink and, you know, you've got to have at least one pink in your closet even when you get older, who cares, right? And also this handbag just makes me so happy every time I look at it, not just because I love the color, but also because of the memory that I have when I got this handbag it was pouring like rainy 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 day and i had no expectation that i'll get offered from my essay and i just randomly went into the store and i didn't even make an appointment and i just anyway just went in to check you know type thing and nobody was there in the store because it was like raining so much outside and yeah my essay was like I have a surprise for you, Karis. And I was like, what is it? And you brought this handbag. And 
I don't know, something about it just made my day like I was crazy, yeah. Even the security guy who always stand right next to the door, normally they're like, you know, just you know, stand up like this and they don't smile, they don't talk, nothing like that. But that day he was like smiling and he was talking to me. He was like, are you that happy? <laughs> Anyways, I was just a little baby or little kid. So happy, happy day. So I will forever have this handbag to just remember how happy I was. This may shock you guys, but it is so true. I will have this backpack forever. It is from Prada. It's not the most expensive handbag I have or like most prettiest or you know, whatever it is. I just, another like sentimental value, not the exact bag that I have right here, but I talked about it before. I had the same bag, smaller size, when I was in Korea long ago, like when I was in uni, and I really enjoyed using that backpack. And because of that, I bought this. And yeah, I'm so glad Prada, you know, brought back their classy, style nylon bags i was even interested in getting the prada you know the multi push type of looking you know i think they call it prada re-edit so anyways i love it it's just so 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 easy to carry around especially yeah disney world bag i have three kids and even they grow up I may hand it down to one of them, unisex, and it has a great space. I love, 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 because it's nylon, it's lightweight and also super durable. And I don't really have to, you know, worry so much about like scratches or water or just about anything. So it's like fast free type of handbag. And I just have a good memory. my recent purchase but i just had to add this beautiful heart shape bag it is yeah for sure collector's piece it is not for everyone if you love heart if you love monogram if you love canvas if you love lv of course you would love this handbag i think but if you don't yeah you'll be like oh why would you buy that bag something like that but i just been just loving this bag so much since I got it and also another sentimental value my friend Millie <laughs> yes all the way from Korea she helped me out to get this handbag and it is coming from Korea and I even saw the tag in Korean letter and I don't know something that gives me goosebumps because I'm from there and I'm a Korean and I really 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 miss yeah, living in Korea and speaking in Korean and just being around the, you know, the culture where I grew up. So I hope to go back and visit my, my dad and yep, one day, hopefully after pandemic and also this COVID, you know, all passed by, who knows when that could be. Also, my kids are so young, so I'm afraid to take them. That's why. And sometimes you guys ask me, why don't you go to Korea? I wish, I wish, really. But anyways, that's another reason behind. And I will have this forever, for sure. It's just so adorable. I love it. <laughs> guys, the lighting was bothering too much. So I just, yeah, switched from there to here. I hope... This is better for you guys. Cutie pie, Chanel classic mini, and it is square. Surprise, surprise. I used to always say I love rectangular, and I do still love rectangular, but after starting to really get into this cutie square, I just been obsessed and loving this shape so much more it looks cuter as a square and also another reason is because after getting this chain it just became so much easier to hold the bag and make different way to you know wear it so that's why that's another reason and also it looks i don't know it looks better on square than rectangular for having that type of chain yeah 
I've been loving it and also it's the black very very supple beautiful very cushiony caviar leather so I love that as well and do you see that that sheen it's like kind of shiny that's after using for sometimes it becomes like I don't know it looks so nice and also I love silver hardware handbags more and more as I just like casual outfit on yeah pandemic yeah whenever i go out it's gonna be like grocery stores right something quick running errands so this has been the one like one of the bags like other than multi pochette this has been it and also i always get asked if i can sell chanel minis especially i do get asked quite often for the pearl handbag mini i have and also the medium size Pretty much every Chanel bag I have, but this in particular, like day one black. And you know why I couldn't stop there? Five. <laughs> I wanted to keep one more. And that must be my, you know, from my favorite store, LV. And this is very recent. Also, the other one was recent. But if I have to keep another LV, I will oh, seriously keep this and I've been really really getting into this handbag so much more than I really really thought I would because I just thought that it's just to you know have a twist look and have the capucines look with the top handle let me take this off so you can see what the real bag without any this is the handle isn't it so classy and ladylike and elegant and I believe they will come out with smaller size but this is the PM that they have the smallest they have one size bigger I think they'll be just too big for me and this is just perfect size and I just been loving so much and I get asked a lot if I can do a review video but I was gonna do a like updated recent purchases video i may do one soon with other ones that i recently got i will have this handbag forever especially the color being the most classy signature lv their box color right saffron i love 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 everything about it and top handle i love so i had to add one more <laughs> if i could so number six so hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to, let's say if I want a brand new car, I guess, <laughs> like something nice must be for me to let handbags go, right? So if I have to sacrifice five handbags because I want to buy a car, I guess, so yeah i came up with this and also it became six i'm surprised to see how many black color handbags i have here for the ones i could let go so this is it i talked about this handbag being the least one of the least used and i just wish i went with the smaller size just because this size is just it looks pretty big on my body frame and also yeah i don't have to carry so much things you know when i want to carry this type of style handbag so i just wish i waited a little bit longer to see if i love the small size first you know the one pink the pink one i have actually i've been asking around if there is a goat skin white color smaller size the small size i wanted to get one but they only have lamb skin for this season so i may have to wait or i don't know i may go with the black one but i just didn't want lamb skin so i'm gonna wait for the goat skin but and chanel added this chanel 19 as one of their classics so this will be there for a really long time for sure and also the price of course is going to be keep going up so this is going to be a great you know handbag to let go to yeah fun for a new car my dream car i guess Ta -da! is that shocking for you guys it's got the dust oh my goodness i just wish i got 
different shade. I have too many to compete with this exact shade, baby pink, and I tend to go with like Chanel 19 baby pink I have that's quite similar. And I also have other baby pink color handbags in my collection. So this always is the one like last baby pink handbag to choose and pick. And Trendy CC has been so popular lately. When I asked my essays, they're like, they're all gone. They now have like, you know, like those colors that are not as popular. Still they have in the store, but other than that, it's gone. No more. Of course, I won't lose, you know, from selling this handbag if I had to. If it comes with the silver and black, I think that will be perfect for me in the future. Don 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 don. Hermes <laughs> costumes, the bigger size that I have. I do love the look of it, and this combination is just so hard to come by. It's the black absent with the rose gold. So one and only rose gold I have from Hermes in my collection. So it is very special, and honestly, I spent more a lot more than the retail price because my subby she yeah reached out to me and she bought it just then but on her body shape it just didn't look great you know on her after buying it from the store and i even have the receipt and everything and anyways um so i was just too excited i was very excited about this handbag like rose gold and black and constants it's just hard to come by so i bought it but now i know it doesn't look good on me either quite boxy yeah and also it's epsom leather so it just is not going to lose any shape uh, the other one that I have, Rose Palfrey, the leather is more supple and it's just uh, more flexible. So it's easier and more comfortable to wear, but this just is not. So that's why I haven't really used this handbag. I know in the secondhand market, it costs like double or more than the retail price. So I know it. this will does a job uh for the you know greater cause like if i want a brand new like sports car or whatever i want hypothetically speaking right so this will be the one that will bring out like a chunk amount lv cup scenes i love and i love the size bb and this is the one but i do have three and if i had to choose one out of three i have the pink and i have the galette which is very neutral like gray undertone you know like beige-ish color i would say yeah so i'll let the black one go just because just because I have so many black handbags even though I don't really reach for black handbags that much and I know LV has Speedy, Neverfull those bags are so classy and it's been out there for a really long time and still very popular but Capucines, if you love LV and you want to go you know, to another level getting into leather Capucine is the way to go <laughs> you know it's just so classy and super timeless and just i love everything about capucines you know how much i love so yeah i love this handbag but because like i always say i have three so if i had to let one go this will be it dun 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 <laughs> another one so this is the number five Kelly from Hermes and this is size 28 Cellier as you can see super boxy and it is Epsom leather and the color is Bougainville it is beautiful flower color it has a bit of pink undertone and also a bit of corally undertone too but it is the red color handbag so depending on the lighting it does change looking more like red more like pink more like just all different colors so it is very interesting color i would say but the reason i will let this one go is because you guys know i love 
broken over Kelly, that's one. Another is I would love to have deep, like true red shade from Hermes in the future. I don't know what size, I don't know what handbag, I have no idea, but you know, do you know what I'm saying? If you love red and you guys know what that means, like true red shade, I would love to have. Same thing like Constance, this will jump up the, you know, the amount that I will have to fund for a brand new car, I guess. So this is it. It's pretty and I still love it. And I think it's gorgeous, beautiful combination with the yellow gold. And because I did say six for what I want to keep, so the number six for letting go and that will be this Picatin. This is medium size, yes. So I don't know if I want a Picatin in the future. I may go with the smallest size and with a pop of color, not black. Honestly, I never ever use this handbag. And I know that this will, you know, bring me a great chunk also because it has the croc handle, which is very special and it is not easy to get. And also it's black. Everybody loves black and it's got the palladium hardware. So it's very young and fresh look to it with this whole combination so that's it and I have the organizer inside so that's why it's still giving me that shape but without it seriously no it just becomes like fortune cookie <laughs> thank you Amy for creating this it was uh, fun but it was really hard to go through and pick what I will keep but also what I will let go because I tend to hold on to you know everything and it's very very hard for me to let at least just one go because I have to think through I don't want to make a mistake and I want to buy again in the future because most of them of course they go up the price uh, every year and quite a lot yeah so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching and also the ladies who i tag i will have in the description box down below and yeah i'll tag you guys so i think you guys will already know by now if you're watching this video and i'll also tag you guys on my instagram so you know it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys